Today I am going to talk on Oracle Field Service and OIC integration. OFSC OIC integration is very important because Oracle Field Service don't have any server side scripting, workflow, we cannot create anything. So we have only few trigger using message scenario. Apart from that, Oracle Field Service has not given anything to process in batch or using any workflow. So we have to totally depend upon OIC for any processing, any backend processing. So we have to understand here how Oracle Field Service and OIC integration work. It is not based on REST API, it is based on event. So let me tell you in detail how event wo events work in Oracle Field Service. So Oracle Field Service generates uh, events for all the transactions for anything like update, move, cancel. For all the events, for every transaction, it will generate events. In OIC, there is a Oracle Field Service adopter. So Oracle Field Service adopter in OIC will listen the event. This event will have data, the old value, new value, and we can configure a number of things on the event level. Trigger failed. So OIC will receive the data accordingly. And inside the OIC, we have to process it. So let's go to OIC. To integrate Oracle Field Service with OIC, we need to do some additional setting in Oracle Field Service. So right now I'm in configuration page. You can go to application. Here you can check if integration is configured or not. If it is not configured, then you have to add application. Here you have to select Oracle integration. Here you will give application name, OIC host name, username, IDCS URL client ID of IDCS, client secret of IDCS, a number of things you have to provide related to IDCS. Then you have to provide the certificate key, private key. And then you can add. Then you would be able to integrate Oracle Field Service with OIC. OIC would be able to access your OF, OFSC. So now let's go to Oracle Integration Cloud. Right now, I am in Oracle Integration Cloud dashboard. So here you can see home is given project design B2B and all. So we'll go to project and I will create a new project. Create OFSC demo. Create. So project is created. So here you can see OFSC demo project is created. Here we can create integration flow, connections, libraries. So what I will do, first I will create a connection. So I will create add. And here you have to search for Oracle field service. Oracle field service. OFSC event connection. This is adopter. When any transaction will happen in Oracle Field Service, it will send a event notification to OIC. So it will be triggered and invoke create. Now it will ask for Oracle Field Service connections instance ID and client credentials. So we have to provide these all simple connection URL, instance ID, client ID and client secret. And then you can test here, save. So let me add it. Now I will test it. So here you can see it is testing for credentials. So test is passed. Test is successful. Now I will save it. Go back. So here connection is created. So now next I will create my connection is created. Now I will add an integration. So I'll create add create. So I'm going to create a application. Create. So here I will add my first trigger. 
so os ofsc event connection now here i have to define my events properties so this is for activity suspend so when an activity will be suspended it will invoke this action this oic action so I'll continue here activity so when activity is suspended so here i will select the suspended so when activity is suspended it will trigger this event now we can configure the required field because every event will have some data so if you want to have few field then you can specify in configuration so continue finish so when a transaction will happen it will receive a event and its data and we can process next we can add our own workflow whatever we want suppose we want to update so in this scenario when activity is suspended i want to assign back that activity to the parent bucket so what i have to do i have to call another api to get the parent bucket name and then i will update the same activity with the parent bucket id using set resource so for that purpose i need a rest api call so here i have to go to connection and here i have to create a connection for rest api so here you can see i have already created a integration action or flow the connection is already created this connection will receive event from oracle field service now let's talk about the library so in oracle integration cloud we can write our own library in javascript it can have multiple javascript files so we can write a complex logic in javascript and we can call that methods so let me add a javascript so here i have uh, written a sample add function in javascript so let me import this this method takes two input parameters and one output parameters but here you you have to write the javascript in a very you know normal way you cannot write very high fi javascript because otherwise it uh, oic would not be able to detect it so if you if you want to edit uh, online then you click this button edit and here you can see function add param1 param2 first you have to define the response return and you have to return so always take care that you have a variable return and you are returning that variable in between you can do your manipulations you can write any complex logic within that so we have this function now go to our integration here you can see so in integration i will go to edit see here you can see it is saying draft so let me check again save now i will go so here you can see configured configured means it is working configured means it is working it is in working condition now this is in draft so i'll go and edit my integration and i will try it. i will show you how to use these libraries so go to edit so here i am receiving the trigger now i will use my function so you have to call the function method uh, let me add this so this one is a function now from here you have to select the function this function i will select it will require two input parameters param1 so here you can pass so here you can see this notification i will receive the notification in this format so suppose i have to pass the activity id then i will pass the activity id in param2 i am passing the resource id from activity detail resource id so here you can see the event will have this information event will have the activity detail the old value activity changed the new value changed and move detail 
सो इट इज द मूव रीजन फ्रॉम बकेट टू रिसोर्स रिसोर्स ऑफ बकेट वर्क जोन मिसमैच वर्क जोन स्किल मिसमैच सो दिस काइंड ऑफ डिटेल विल बी रिसीव फ्रॉम द इवेंट डेटा सो आई है पास डिट टू रिसोर्स आई डी आई है परम टू एज ए रिसोर्स आई डी आई विल सेव इट सो बाई दिस वे माई इट विल वेन एवर इवेंट विल कम इट विल एग्जीक्यूट दिस जावा स्क्रिप्ट मेथड नाउ नेक्स्ट ईयर आई कैन एड अ रेस्ट ए पी आई सो बिफोर डेट लेट मी चेक इफ वी आर एबल टू रिसीव द ट्रिगर और नॉट सो आई गो बैक एंड एक्टिवेट माई इंटीग्रेशन सो गो ईयर एंड सो राइट नॉट इज इन ड्राफ्ट ड्राफ्ट स्टेट सो देयर वुड बी सम एर सो लेट मी गो एंड चेक so here you can see there is an error so i have to fix this so it is asking for identifier number so i'll go and provide the activity id activity id will be identifier save now there is no error i will go back so here you can see it is configured now i will make it active so activate so we can activate production mode audit mode right now i will have a debug mode activate so it is activating this fsc integration action flow so whenever a event will be received it will trigger this now i'll i'll now i have suspended an activity in oracle field service now we'll check if it has been uh, if this integration has been triggered or not so here you can see design deploy and observe so i will go to observe so here you have to go to instances so here you can see one instance is present so you can check the log so here you can see i icon click this so it is showing that one instance has been received of suspend activity so we can check the data so here you can see event type is activity suspended and it is showing that activity id resource the old resource id i mean <coughs> resource id i mean the date and whatever activity changed so this data is being received so using this data we can call our javascript function so here you can see javascript function is being invoked and process complete successfully so it means this integration is working so whenever our activity will be suspended will receive a notification and if you have enabled the log then it will create a log over here so by this way we do oracle field service and oic integration thanks for watching the video